Alright y'all, we made it. We're at the Munich Film Festival. Today is the day. And we're gonna go in. It's our big red carpet moment. It should be lit. Harley has arrived. It's gonna be sick. I think he's signing some shit right now, which is dope. Boris in town, he's shooting Harley. Tight vibe. Let's go see it. <laughs> Two years since the making. Yeah, look, so this guy from Korea made me a grill with a, with a sunshine on it. I gotta I gotta rock it one time. What? Chantal. Hi. I'm doing my rapper shit. He did it without you asking. So he's like, no, no, he's like, no, no, he's like, I really, yeah, I'm gonna make you a grill. Like, and you had to send him like your tooth he molded impression it for me. He was in New York. I met him in New York. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. 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 One more. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Yes. One closer. Can I do one with sunglasses? Yeah, sure, sure. Just one, one, one. Just one. <laughs> one more. Yeah. Perfect. Hold on, Har. One for me. One. Should I do one with the sunglasses? Yeah. Can I do the sunglasses? Yes. Oh, one more. One more. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, get in one with Kenny. Oh, you're looking at me. Yeah. Thank Harley, yes. it's the big day. Yes. Alice Sunshine premiere. He's my best friend, bro. Yes, sir. I'm so happy for him. Yes, sir. How did fashion influence the film okay. and yourself growing up? So I think that the way that fashion designers speak about um, their work is, I relate much more strongly than when filmmakers speak about it because they think about world building and an aesthetic point of view and visual language. And I think that's really like the most important thing for me. Of course, storytelling is at the core, but I think it's so important to build these worlds. And I think designers like Margiela and McQueen have really inspired me in terms in terms of uh, creating my own world and um, putting my own point of view aesthetically and visually of what I want to see. Nice. And can you tell us about the outfit for today? Why he chose this for the premiere? So this is styled by uh, S Sam and Gottswage and Kyron over here. Uh, we got a, everything sustainable. We got the Prada reused from Real Real jacket. We got the Our Legacy pants from Grail. Oh, these are the only things that are not sustainable. Yeah, what do you guys think of the fit? Write the fit in the comments below type shit. Hard. All vintage. All Hard. Vintage. Oh, sorry. Vintage. Vintage Prada jacket. Type shit.
It's like really a family effort, I think. Yes. Like, uh, yeah, of course, you're the writer producer, yeah. and someone from your family has done the editing. <laughs> 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 um, I've, I've been working with my mother since I was 14, making, making all my short films with her. Um, yeah, we, and this is the wrong my second sister. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so, my, my mother has been producing all my works since I was 14. She edited a feature film. She uh, produced the feature film with Laurent, and not only did she do that, but she was also my assistant director, because on the day of the, of the shoot, the, uh, the assistant director got so tired that my mom just said, you know what, I'm gonna come in, and she took, she took, she took, uh, she took the reins. It was her first time doing that, but we have a very close relationship as a family, and my girlfriend did the costumes, so yeah. <laughs> well, um, I, I like to joke around that I'm not that much older than Laurent, but so I've always felt like I, like I had like a bond with them, like they were kind of my friends on set, and I've always worked with young actors. And uh, actually, there's a there's a saying by Werner Herzog. He says there's no such thing as child actors. They're just children. So I kind of took that uh, in account and just kind of had fun with them. And even though they were eating so much sugar on set and going crazy, when it was time to work, they were very focused and and excited. But it was honestly such a pleasure to work with these young people. And also speaking about family, the little girl is my cousin in the film. So that was her first time on set too. So it was a really nice environment though. And while I was writing the script, my dream was always, can I work with him, can I work with him? And so when I finished the script, I, I sent him a cold email. And I just said, listen, I, I wrote this script. I thought a lot about your music. It, it would be an honor to work with you. And he really appreciated the, the, um, the relationship with Alan and the music. He thought that was very original and something that he wanted to take on. And um, I want it to be electronic ambient music because I think that it's the most uh, introspective form of music and it's the only type of music where you're not really thinking about the listener, it's more about the, the maker and I was really interested in that relationship of the, the artist uh, without thinking about the commercial aspect of the music that he was making and I thought that was a really interesting thing that I hadn't seen. Like why the name? It's a, it goes a long way back but there was, a, there was an actor I worked with when I was 17 on my first short film and his email handle was Alan Sunshine at hotmail.com and it just stuck with me, the name Alan Sunshine. And the actor has a very deep um, place in my heart because he was an actor that, he was the first actor to really trust me the, when I was 17 and so I never spoke to him since he disappeared. I don't know where he went. But all I have left is his email, Alan Sunshine at hotmail.com and I've tried to reach out so many times. So I just figured, you know what, I'll reach out by calling it Alan Sunshine. <laughs> All right, so we saw the movie premiere, absolutely stunning, everything was flawless. Um, my emotions can't even go through, like, seeing your best friend do a movie is like outrageous like uh i literally cry like crazy shit like so much emotions um growing up with my bro and then now seeing him like premiere a movie inside of uh, a cinema is like insane work you know what i mean so you see the boy thriving in his glory right now great feeling really great feeling so we're gonna go hit a bar, celebrate the time, 
and catch up with you guys soon. Look at us go, Elsa. <laughs> I'm on the grind. <laughs> Give me a job. Okay. Well, just finish the job. <laughs> All right, so we're here with Boris and Harley. He's gonna knock out his uh, cover for this magazine, and they need to get some shots here for that. No, honestly, back here there's like some nice, like more. They're good. I would put like thumb out, maybe for yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, little, little moody moment, you know. Head kneel on the little stone. Head on stone. Where we at? We're in München, Munich. München. 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 Munich. Munich. München. <laughs> it's been it's been fun. It's been a cool trip so far. Boris got some good shots for Harley's magazine. That was yesterday. Today's a different day. Magazine. Magazine type shit. Movie. Okay. Movie. Wow. No, but the, you shot the shit at the end. For the For the magazine. But uh, today's a different day. Boris is going to Berlin, sadly. I wish I could come Why is him. Kyron not coming? I'm, I'm homesick, you know? I want to go sick. home. I've been, I've been gone for too long. But yeah, we're, we're here. I don't know what today has in store. I think I'm going to help Harley's girlfriend, Sammy, film some stuff. Cause she's Miss Vermont, if you guys didn't know that. Miss Universe, that's what she's striving to be. So we're gonna go help her with that content and keep it pushing. Munich vlog has been a little, you know, it's been more on the film side of things, but today, that's my vision. Bye, Kyron. Guys, Schnitzel's pretty good. Not too bad. I don't understand the point of the jelly, but it kind of does maximize the flavor profile. A little jam. A little jam. A little jelly. The, on the schnitzel. A wise, Nobody shakes it. A, a wise girl once said, shake it like jelly. I don't know her. So we're here at this thing called the Ice River. Apparently it's kind of like a continuous wave of sorts that people could surf on. And a bunch of people about to float on this shit. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> it's so hard. This is the one sport I wish I could do. This is so fire. Oh, that was sauce. Feeling about the ice river, we have a dolphin man here. Uh, that was a real life dolphin. <laughs> this is so crazy.
Yeah, it's really, really impressive, honestly. Probably one of the nicest ones I've seen in the book. It's so high. And it looks cute with the crow. Is this a rosé? No, it's just uh, so random. I got it. Because of the little rosé kids always wear this. She's like, I have one. That's so sick. Apparently, apparently this guy was no good. Like, oh my god, like the perfect hue of blue. Yeah, stupid. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Apparently we're trying a very famous German dessert of sorts. It's like uh, their equivalent of a donut, the powder donut. Yeah, yeah. Try it though. Attack it today. Ooh, this looks fine. <laughs> Sugar on top. It's like kind of tra translucent in there. Oh, it is good. It is good. <laughs> I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have the Nigiri Morio. So do you need something or are you... 